we can make someone very strong by giving our support and that is called reinforcement of that person and today topic is fiber reinforced plastics so fiber what is reinforcement so strengthening or supporting a object with uh, additional materials if you can observe the diagram there is a concrete is there we are using to construction our buildings uh, rooftops generally made by concrete and iron mix that is called slab or something so we are not alone using the concrete concrete is cement uh, and uh, stones are mixed in some quantity ratio and they are make it as a concrete but concrete alone is not used as a material to build a um, slops or roofs but along with concretes we are using iron iron is supporting it giving the it's strengthening the uh, stability of the material so that is called reinforcement just like iron material we can add some of the additional materials to the polymers make it as a strong and stable that is called fiber reinforced plastic so polymer matrix is reinforced with the fibers if you reinforce with the fibers that is called fiber reinforced plastics so there is a fiber reinforced plastics are a composite materials that mean we are adding different materials into the final material like polymer so commonly used fibers are glass carbon aramid paper wood asbestos already we already known this thing compounding of plastic this is nothing but compounding of plastic so when you add some ad additional material to the material give the uh, thermal acoustic optical and mechanical properties enhances all these properties that is called compounding plastic so fiber reinforcement is nothing but a compounding of plastic so we are we can add different types of fibers like glass carbon aramid paper wood asbestos so first pipe first polymer which is used to reinforce is bakelite so bakelite taking as a polymer and add some other additives to strengthen the bakelite that was the first experiment done so fiber reinforced plastic have superior thermal electrical mechanical and optical properties than the normal polymers you can see here so your carbon rain carbon reinforced polymers which are used in the manufacturing of uh, different parts of the aeroplanes and rockets and we have a different types of bulletproof jackets body armors racing car pipe tires and um, sailboat ropes and different fibers we can use for this purpose and uh, see here the, what i told uh, compounding of plastic if you see the plastic is mixed polymer is mixed with uh, this polymer is mixed with different types of additives in this if you observe the pillars here uh, pillars is there so pillars used to increase the tensile strength and stability of the material and also it decreases the cost of materials these fillers is nothing but fibers instead of pillars we add the fibers so this is called fiber reinforced plastic fiber reinforced plastic are nothing but compounded compounding of polymers okay so uh, th there is a first type is aramid fibers aramid fiber means we are uh, reinforcing plastic with aramids what is aramid aramid means so it is a aromatic sorry it is a aromatic and uh, amide bond so aromatics and amides mixed with them form a aramid so aromatic polyamides which are used as a fiber materials to reinforce the plastics so oh, those are two types nomax and kelvar so you see here what is kelvar and what is nomax kelvar if you see the kelvar can be prepared by using paraphenylene diamine so you can see there is a para group two, two amine groups on the benzene ring in para position each, each one is opposite to each other just like isothalyl chloride here also iso uh, acyl groups are each opposite to each other that means para position on the benzene ring when they are involved in the condensation polymerization see here the criteria for polymerization each monomer should have two functional groups there is a two nh2 groups on the one monomer and second monomer having also two functional groups see acyl groups is there so when one monomer having two functional groups like that monomer can interact with the another monomer and they involved in condensation by losing small molecule like hcl they forms a 
amide bonds these are called amide nh c double bond c double bond nh bond is called amide bond like that it continues the ring continues the chain that is called calvar so calvar is a para aramid para aramid so why because your para function is there and just nomax is very simple it is a meta pyramid meta aramid poi bar so just replace the para position with the meta position so meta phenylene diamine meta isothiol chloride when they are interact each other they form a meta polymer that is called nomax these are the um, pi bars these pi bars can be added to polymers so why they are making very strengthen the material there is a different reasons is there first one is interchain bonds so there is interchain bonds by the hydrogen bonds if you observe the one pyramid one para para phenylene diamine isothiol chloride polymer this is another chain if you observe the both chains are interacted by the hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding mean the bond between the hydrogen atom and the highly electronegative atom one chain having oxygen atom another chain having an hydrogen atom so both are involved in oxygen hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding like that so many hydrogen bonds formed between the two chains intermolecular forces are enhancing here along with that uh, hydrogen bonding there is a aromatic stacking process so this aromatic ring and this aromatic ring having a some attraction forces so these are the physical forces so these forces these extra forces make the material very strengthen so these fibers can enhance the thermal electrical uh, thermal and mechanical properties of materials we by that we can use to so this proper if you observe the properties they are in yellow in color and they are high low density and high strength they have very light weight but they pro provide the highest strength uh, stability to the material good impact abrasion and uh, chemical resistance they does it doesn't in interact with the any chemicals they are uh, stable towards acid bases and alkalis excellent heat and flame resistance and along with heat they also bear the flame also they are stable even flame also self existing flame retarded properties low thermal shrinkage they will not shrinkage we can use in the bullet proof proofs driving gloves walking boots military helmets cutting resistance gloves bicycle tires car tires punctureless tubes fire proofing clothes boat hulls tennis strings hockey sticks cricket ropes cables and optical fibers there is so many applications is there for the uh, aramid fibers these are also called bullet proof plastics also bullet proof plastics also called as aramid fiber reinforced plastics so this is the topic for um, fiber reinforced plastic in one word fiber reinforcement is nothing but compounding of cloth so here we are using pillars as a uh, aramids as a pillars that is the only thing thank you for watching